Welcome everyone, I'm Deronda with Foods 101. Today I'm showing you how to make puppy chow, also known as Muddy Buddies. Now to get this started you're going to need nine cups of a corn check cereal. These are oven roasted corn cereal. You may use the rice cereal if you wish and this is the brand I use, the General Mills. I've got one and one half cup of powdered sugar, one half cup of creamy peanut butter, one cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips, if you want to use the dark chocolate chips, you may. I've got one-fourth of a cup of unsalted butter, and you're going to need one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. Now, let me show you how we're going to get the peanut butter and the chocolate chips melted with the butter and the peanut butter. Now, I'm going to melt mine over a double boiler that's just water in a pan, and I'm going to put my bowl over the top of it. Of course, make sure it's, um, it's a heat-proof bowl. And you can also, you're asking me, well, can I put it in the microwave? Yes, you may put it in the microwave um, for one minute, stirring every 15 minutes till your chocolate chips are melted. So here goes to the oven top. Now, I've set my bowl over steaming water, as you can see, just like that. Woo! And be sure to stay careful because it can get very hot. And that steam captures between the heat proof bowl and the saucepan and it starts to melt the chocolate chips, the butter, and the peanut butter till it comes nice and creamy. Mmm, my goodness, and this smells so yummy. Keep stirring until everything's melted. Woo, look how beautiful and creamy that is. Next, we're going to gently drizzle it evenly, try to, over the top of our cereal. Now that's why you want a large bowl to put this cereal in. And we're going to just toss it till all of our cereal pieces are well coated. And you don't need to really work super duper fast. You just want to make sure that all your cereal is well coated. I've been gently tossing our cereal in with our creamy peanut butter, chocolate chips, and butter. Um, you just gently want to toss it back and forth until, see, everything's covered. Now, next, you're going to need two gallon-sized Ziploc bags. And in each bag, we're going to add three-fourths of the cup of powdered sugar. So that means just dividing the powdered sugar evenly into each gallon-sized Ziploc container. Now, if you have a two-gallon Ziploc container, you may use that instead of the two one-gallon Ziploc containers. And in each, we're going to buy the chocolate cereal. So we're going to just slowly put it in here like this. Now I've got half of it in there. Now I'm going to seal the top, and I'm going to begin to shake to get that fabulous powdered sugar coated on all of our cereal squares. All right, and you just want to mess with this for a few minutes. You want to be gentle because you don't want to crush up your cereal and just make sure it all gets coated. And this is a lot of fun if you have kids. Get your kids in the kitchen, help you do it. This is fabulous in snack size pieces to go on trips, to go to the pool, to go on a picnic. Kids, adults, everyone absolutely loves them. And now I've got a cookie sheet that I'm going to lay this out on, and I'll show you how it's going to come out. Let's just unzip it. Look how lovely those are. All right, and just put them here on your cookie sheet. Now, I've lined mine with parchment paper, but it's not necessary because if I want to pick them up, I just do it like that. But if you don't have parchment paper, don't worry about it. Now, these go in the refrigerator for the next 15 minutes so they can set. And then I'll be back and tell you what they taste like. I got 15 snack size bags full of our puppy chow, also known as Muddy Buddies. And looky there, how fabulous that is. Now, I'm going to give this a try. Mmm. Oh, my. So addictive. Very crunchy. Peanut butter, chocolate, holds on that confectionery sugar. It's a fantastic treat. 
okay, I recommend you keep this in your refrigerator or in a cooler if you're going on a picnic or to the beach or whatever. And um, until next time, I'm Deronda with Foods 101. Thanks for watching, y'all. Give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. And I'll catch you next time.